There are four main ways to input a structure into space gas. Let's look at the structure wizard first. The structure wizard is a convenient tool for creating a basic model that you can then expand or modify as desired. First, select your structure type. And then fill in the required data fields. Once the model has been created, you can edit it. Or add to it. You can also apply loads and so on to satisfy your exact requirements. The second input method involves using data sheets. There is a data sheet for every type of data that goes into a space gas model. Within the structure menu, data sheets are used to input information about nodes, members, plates, and so on. Within the loads menu, data sheets are used to input information about node loads, member loads, plate loads, and so forth. A convenient way to access all the data sheets is to click on the data sheets button on the main toolbar. Let's look at the members data sheet. You can navigate using the mouse or the arrow keys. Changes can be made simply by typing. You can delete data by selecting the desired rows and then right-clicking to the Delete option. Data can be added by scrolling to the bottom of the data sheet and then typing into the last row. More detailed information about datasheets is available in the datasheets video. The third and perhaps most versatile method of input involves creating or editing a model graphically. New plates or members can be drawn in space. They can also be connected to existing parts of a model. By double-clicking on a member, or on a node, the corresponding properties can be displayed, as well as modified. Groups of items can be selected by clicking on them one at a time, or by drawing a window. By clicking on the right mouse button, a menu of tools is activated. This menu can be used to edit properties, copy, mirror, subdivide, renumber, add loads, define design data, and so forth. Let's use the copy tool. Additional members can be drawn to complete the structure.
Loads can be added in a similar way. More detailed information on how to input and edit models graphically is available in the graphical input videos. The final input method lets you import a model from another program, such as AutoCAD, Revit Structure, ProSteel, Tecla Structures, and the like. Alternatively, if you have your own program that generates a model, in a text file format or in Excel, you can import that into SpaceGAS as well. Of course, combinations of all four input methods can be applied. For example, you may start by creating a basic model with the structure wizard, and then use a mixture of graphical editing tools and datasheets to modify and expand the model.